What's up, what's up? Steve Cook here. We're here in the gym, bringing you a pretty special challenge. So I've teamed up with the new movie, Gods of Egypt, coming out February 26th. Pretty gnarly looking movie. Gerard Butler, the guy from Game of Thrones. In this, he has his hand back, but his eyes are kind of, I, I think they're gone. So I don't wanna give any spoiler alerts, but it comes out February 26th. So this workout, you know, in the past I've done workouts, you know, inspired by Greek mythology, you know, nice big shoulders, you know, talking about tiny waist, big legs. This is kind of a, a play on that. So I've designed a full body challenge. We're calling it, are you God enough? So like I said, gods of Egypt dropping. I want to see if you guys have what it takes to beat my time in this full body. So again, I'm doing full body because I feel like in ancient mythology, Greeks, Egyptian, whatever it may be, they focused on the male physique. And females out there, I want you guys to do this too, but they focused on nice, strong shoulders that you can carry the weight of the world, you know, good strong legs that you can run fast with, athletic, trim, lean physiques, so you can't neglect any body part. This has to be, you have to be the real deal. If you're gonna be a god, you have to have no weaknesses. So this workout is designed to challenge you and to see if you have any weaknesses. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is a thruster. So that's a, that's a squat, a front squat. Gotta go all the way down to 90 degrees and then press over your head. We're gonna be doing seven movements in this workout. So seven movements for seven reps for seven rounds. Seven was kind of a, a number in ancient Egypt that was revered. It was kind of prosperity. They loved the number seven. So everything we're doing today is seven. So I'm counting actually this as two different movements. We got the squat. And then the press, we go seven of those. And then we're jumping over to dips, to hit those triceps. Seven dips have to be to 90% or that 90 degree angle there. From there, we're pulling up. We're pulling ourselves up to that God status. Back down, we got seven reps there. Straight into a clapping push up. Chest has to go all the way down. You don't have to bring your hands off the ground, but chest has to touch all the way up. Clap, that's one, gotta do seven of those. Then, we gotta, gotta have a nice tight core. Gotta be able to stand those punches. When Gerard Butler's punching you, you gotta be able to take it. So, gotta have a nice tight core. Also, Gerard Butler in 300 had a pretty good core. And uh, Gods of Egypt, I'm pretty sure he's trying to bring that core back. So. We wanna have that amazing tight core. So we're doing toes to bar. We're gonna just here, touch, back down. Seven reps of those. And then we're gonna finish with bicep curls. Can't leave out the bicep curls. Leave the best for the last. By, by this time, your biceps, or your, your whole body should be pretty, pretty tired. So we're ending off the little isolation movement. That's pretty much it. That's one round, we have seven of those. So seven reps on everything, full range of motion on everything, and you don't stop. You do it as fast as you can. We're gonna be putting the timer on me. <clears throat> I'm kind of nervous, I got kind of, kind of shaky, but I think I have what it takes to be a god of Egypt. Let's find out. Let's go, thrusters. What? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. To dips. One, two, three, four, five. Pull ups. Clapping push-ups. Toes to bar. Bye. 
bicep curls. Two. Wow. I want a bit off more than I can chew. Are you got enough? We're not cutting on this. We're just keeping it rolling. It's when you start off like a sprint, quickly you find out it's more of a marathon.
five down. Two to go. That's so bad. I'm gonna lose my lunch here. Sometimes when you fall, it's just about getting back up. Ah. Being the God of Egypt doesn't come without a price, so. Whew. One more round and then it's, and you made it. Made it to that top. It's like climbing a pyramid. Starts off easy. You get higher and higher and higher. Everyone else feels like winning, but there can only be one person at that top there. That's you, let's go. Last round, let's go. That's the best set.
Do you know what it takes? You don't ever want to look back and think shoulda, coulda, woulda. And life in the gym, it's a mindset. Are you God enough to get through everything? And that's kind of like, it's are you, are you man enough? Taking it one step further. Six billion people on the planet. What's gonna separate you? It's not just about enough about being man enough. You gotta take it one step further. Let me know what you guys get. Seven rounds. I'll admit I started off too fast, burnt out a little bit, but seven rounds, seven reps of seven exercises. Brought to you by me and Gods of Egypt, February 26th. Go check it out. It's supposed to be pretty gnarly. Steve Cook, I'm out. I have my shorts in like a thong, pretty much. <laughs> so my hiney is cold. Cold, but it just got colder. <laughs> Our